Now, you're younger than what people think. What, you, what are you, like 22, 23? Me? Yeah. 24. I made 25 uh, March. Okay. You come off as a little older. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, I, so at times, I thought you was 28 because you yeah. act like that. No, nah, I, 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 all my life, I done hung around older people. Okay. So when you got your first big bag, right, what was you, like 20, 22, 23? 22, 20, I want to say 22. Okay. What did Fredo Bang do with his first big rap check? My first big purchase, I, uh, I want to get my teeth fixed. Uh, is, that, is that something you've been wanting to do in like your whole life? Yeah, my teeth, I always want to print the teeth. That's it. That's, that's, uh, outside of that, my first like check, I did, I did that. I spent I threw like eight nine thousand in G five. I regret it every day. Wait wait. <laughs> I swear. At, at the strip club. Yeah. And, okay, and you did this one time. Like you just went in there and just threw ten. Yeah. Eight, eight nine grand. Yeah, that's probably part of the reason why I don't like strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> like I had bad thing was the day after I signed. So I'm like, man, you know, I'm for shows, you know, I was going to show crazy. I was on, I wasn't getting that that much for shows, but I had did like seventy shows before I signed, in those okay. like in those four five months. So I had already had a bag on me. I'm like, man, what it is to throw eight nine grand? You know what I'm saying? Right. I did that. Then I went to the mall and spent like fifteen on just nothing. <laughs> I I bought a five thousand dollar suitcase that I still don't even wear. <laughs> I mean, I don't use. This is all the crazy. And and then you ended up copping the crib. Uh, no. See, um, because I had a, I had a situation that I had got out of. Okay. So, yeah. So my first my first one, I had got a rental for you, because I wanted to see um, I wanted to see like I was gonna like fill it out and like if I liked it down here, I was like I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna purchase a house. So I had rented for a year. And then after that year was up, I bought me a, a, a spot down here. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. a lot of rappers who've been rapping for a very long time. Well, I'm not even going to say that. It's a lot of rappers who are on Instagram and, and they flexing crazy cars, jewelry, and stuff like that. And they, they don't have their own crib. They ain't got no house. <laughs> I've even seen you tweet something like that. Like, man, these rappers don't even got their own house, man. Nah, I, I, I done seen a lot of them. They be staying with their CEOs, staying with other artists, or they might be in a little, uh, a little, a little rental apartment or something. I, I didn't seen it all, but I, I was just in the mindset like I'm not a, I'm not a wasteful person. So I was like, here I am spending four grand a month on rent. Why would I keep spending this on rent? When I could put this towards a property, and if I decide to move or, leave, or, or want to leave the property, I could just sell it and still make my money back. So, yeah, you might wish. I, yeah. I mean, so now that you look back at it, do you have any regrets? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a lot of regrets. I, got, I, I regret, I regret throwing that eight thousand in G five. Um. I bought my mama a car with this this janky dealership that that still owe me nine thousand. I gotta sue them for my money back. Same shit happened to me, dog. They, they they I had bought the car and they didn't expect me to pull up to check it out, and so they switched the seats and everything else inside of the car. Like they turned it to a whole lemon. Uh, when before I got my first rental, I had tried to get another one, and they put, and I was in just in a rush of movement. So I didn't even come look at the house before I tried before I purchased it. So I sent out something like twenty eight thousand, and when I got there, like they photoshopped all the pictures of the house, so it was just tore up the floor about to fall in. I lost thirty five hundred with that. Luckily, I got the rest of my money back. Um, I don't know. I took some losses. <laughs> you know, there are going to be some rappers who watch this interview um, that are possibly about to get their first rap check. Like, what's some advice you would give to new rappers in the game that get that first advance? Um, uh, I say it's okay to ball in your own lane because mm. you. I feel like you get around a lot of other rappers, and 
you just want to cash out on everything. Like I could buy like every everything you rather be showing off. I could buy, you know what I'm saying? But I keep it calm. I got, I got a couple hundred in jewelry. I got an AP that went up in value. Like so, I'm 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 cool right now. I don't need no eight watches on right now. You know what I'm saying? Of course, every now and then we want to spoil ourselves with little trophies, but at the end of the day, you got to ball in your own lane until you get there and, and and you know, stop trying to just keep up with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because if it, yeah. really, if it was up to me, I, I'd just be wearing black tees, pajamas, and stuff like that. The label, like Jaden actually, actually told me, like, before you got to start dressing up and taking pictures from Instagram. <laughs> I barely take pictures on Instagram. Like, I be having them, like, they be having them force me to. I be seeing that with your SBs and all that. I yeah, I've been the trying SBs to. Too. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying. Nah, word. So, I mean, but you're right about that. It's a lot of new rappers who come in the game and they try to compete with the little babies and the money bag yos and yeah. You but know, I, uh, then another thing, like I'm just, I just never been that type of person. Like just like when um when I like I'm just for instance, like when I did the uh, when I was in uh, Pooh Shiesta and Dirt video, a lot of people was acting like why he ain't get on the table with everybody. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people I don't know, like Shyster and Dirt asked me to get on the table, but I'm like, bruh, first of all, both of y'all like five feet tall. I'm six foot and a six foot one. I'm gonna be hovering over y'all at the top. Then it's eight of y'all on the table. I don't gotta be in the spotlight. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's I'm real. just here for the support. You know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of people were wondering, like, why I was in the cut of the video. Like, I don't care about being in the spotlight all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's real. That's real. Um, 